Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Hey, good morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 on this uh, May the 30th. Uh, and we, as I told you, have uh, R.V. Patterson, his wife Irene, in the studio. And R.V. is also the owner and founder and maker and creator of Save a Cork and Hook Retriever. And R.V. has got it here on your radio dial. I've always wanted to do this as you look from left to right. R.V. Patterson has got his uh, device here. So tell him what you got here, R.V. This device I come up with, I invented, brother. That you invented call, it. You save in- a cork and hook retrieval. Uh huh. And the reason why I named it that because whenever you get hung up, it'll go down past your cork to retrieve your snag hook back. It will. Yes, yeah. sir. It just don't only retrieve your hook; it save your cork as well. Uh, okay. How it's done? It's All like right. This. All right. We're watching. You take your. The snag uh-huh. line. Yeah. And you put it up under the hook shape head. Okay. And you turn it clockwise. All right. Lock your line in. All right. Once your line is locked in, you let your pole out. He's doing it right now. He's got a piece of wood here and he's got uh he's letting it out and he's getting the cork it's which the, the is stuck on there. All right. Right. Okay. Hold your line gently. All right. And just push it. Give it a shake or two. And it'll go past your cork. How about easy. that? Look at that. Once you get to your snag hook, uh-huh. you know when you get there because you can't go any farther. Can't go any farther. So all you have to do then is one, two, three. You're free. Isn't that, that something? No Goodness gracious. All right. You yeah. Know, some yeah. lures are 10 to 15 $20. And, man, that's a lifesaver. Yeah, right lures there. are right. like that. Well, well t- even though if you're, hung up, uh, if you're hung up in a tree. If you're hung up in a tree. go up in a tree. And retrieve your snag hook back within oh, yeah. seconds. Yeah, I've caught many a tree well, bass, hadn't you, Larry? Oh, I've caught, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I needed one of these. So tell my listeners how you how you came up with this idea. Well. Just look, talk in that microphone, and you can sit down or stand up, whatever you want to do now. Okay, well, I came up with this idea because every time I go to my favorite spot, Aka Butler. Uh-huh, Aka Butler. In yeah. the back of Aka Butler. Uh, it's a place called Elbow Corner. Uh-huh. And the reason why they named it Elbow Corner, because when they got the spillway, it's open, wide open. The, the, the crop is usually normally go to the back to get out the current. Uh-huh. And so everybody be back there elbow to elbow. Oh, yeah. Fishing. And so, <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah. uh, it's everybody, well, most of the people down there, they have their own little, do it, you know, yeah, do that. Yeah. yeah, they have cans, they have colors hangers, they have spark plugs, yeah, to retrieve that uh, snag hook. Uh huh, yeah, but normally that would take anywhere from five to seven minutes to get back, <laughs> and by that time, you know, they'd be tired out, they'd be tired out. So, yeah. uh, I can, I went to the well, the sporting goods store, uh huh, and asked the gentleman, Do y'all have anything that will help me retrieve my snag uh-huh. uh hook? Back, like lures, uh-huh. my hook or corks and jigs. Yeah. And, uh, he said, well, the only retriever we sell is for bass. For bass. And uh-huh. so uh, I was very disappointed. So I went home, I got in the backyard, and I started to twist <laughs> the clothes hanger here and there. And uh, the first one I made was good. Yeah. The second one I made was very good. Oh, uh-huh. right. uh-huh. Like they always said, the third one. It's be a charm. That's yeah, it. Right. That's it. And, and he, so it was perfect. Uh-huh. So I showed it to my wife, and uh, she she said, "Well, how it worked? I had a broken oh, uh, telescopic pole in my garage. So yeah, I got it out. I put it on the tip of my uh, fishing pole. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And my wife said, "Av." I said, "What?" She said, "That's an invention." It is. I said, "You're right." I said, "Well, I tell you what." I said, well, "Let's go to Aquabella tomorrow and see would it work." And so went to Aqua Butler, and uh, w- if the spillway closed up, then well not closed up, but if they don't have it on. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then you know won't nobody go in the back and mm-hmm. fish. So mm-hmm. that was a good time for me to just really experiment with it. Experiment yeah. With uh-huh. it. And so I went there and I got hung up about ten or fifteen times. Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Every time that I got hung up within seconds, I was back fishing. All right. So, so you knew it worked. I said, well, Irene, I said, it's work. I said, let's go. And so she said, well, let me throw it one more time. This is a true story. Yeah. 
she threw it and it got hung up in the tree. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I went to yank it and pull it. And then I thought, I said, wait a minute. I said, this here just may work, you know. So I used it. I went into the tree. Yeah. And seriously, within seconds, you had it. Wow. Had, had everything back. Wow. And so uh, I went to my lawyer the next morning. Oh, go. yeah, go to that yeah. lawyer. Yeah, go to that Pat. lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> he told me, he said, Mr. Powell, he said, out of my year's experience, he said, I never seen anything like this. He said, and I wouldn't let you waste your time if I didn't think it was uh, worth something. Mm -hmm. He said, but you got yourself something now. Yeah. And so within three years, I had my patent. Oh, right. got his patent, great. and he's uh, ready to roll. You got a website now? Yes, right. www hookretriever.com hookretriever.com and uh this is uh this is yours i mean th you came up with the idea and everything so how much does it sell for well it, uh, you go to my website it's called 1999 but if you go to my website you can get it for ten dollars all right 999 mm -hmm. wow if you go to your his website again and that website is www.hookretriever.com yes, okay you got that and then uh he hopes to get it out and uh, and sell it to stores and things, but yes, you sir. are a uh, a one man operation here, aren't you? Yes, I mean, sir. you got your daughter and you got Irene over as your pub your PR person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what is what's been the, what does your family think about this? Oh, they they love it. They do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now uh, what, they are excited about it. That's Irene saying that. That wasn't Gene Smith. He disguises his voice sometimes. <laughs> we never know, but. Uh, so your background, what have you done in life? Well, I used to be a butcher at John Morrell. Really? Okay. Uh, until they closed up. Uh-huh. You know, then I was, after that, uh, I worked at uh, Peck Industry. Uh-huh, yeah. I drive. drive, that's when I got injured. And yeah. After that, you know, I settled down and, you know. And this is this is something you dreamed about, but you, you love fishing. I got to ask you, how old are you? 59. 59, just a pup. Just a pup. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, He's he is. just a pup and everything. <laughs> yeah, you really are. Uh, and you knew when it was going to, this This is so, It's. I have to admit, this is pretty simple. If somebody else, you. I'm glad you got your patent, because don't let anybody else get this from you. No, sir. The only way you can get this retrieved is, is through my company. Yeah. If they want to buy you out for a million dollars. Well, we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it and everything like that, but uh and I know Irene, uh, uh, so you got to say something to me. Uh, I, I know you guys have been together a long time, been married a long time. How much fishing does he like? Every day. Every day, huh? Yeah. I do too, if we could. We you, go every day. So you, you, but when when you were dating, now you weren't a fisher person. You said no. I, no. He got me uh, involved in it. Got you got her hooked. There you go. You, you got her hooked on it and everything. <laughs> well, we just appreciate both of y'all coming outdoors with Larry Ray. And like I said, uh, uh, glad to see you. Uh, glad to meet you back in uh, February when we were out at the boat show. They're a, they're a wonderful couple. Uh, and this is what we like to do on Outdoors with Larry Ray is give some, some new folks. I mean, we're going to talk to some folks from Browning today. We're going to talk to... Uh, some wealthy people. We talk a lot of things, but we're talking about some folks who have just come up with an idea, and uh, we're pulling for you, buddy. And uh, we will give you all the support I can give you. I know Ron Wong will over there. Nobody knows more people in fishing than Ron Wong, and uh, he will definitely. Uh, I know you're probably going to put some people out of business because it's going to save on lures yeah. and stuff like that. So they may not want you around because <laughs> hey, we want to. I know when I go fishing, I see them uh, way up there, and boy, how'd that thing get up there? Oh, it's been there 10 years, you know, and I say, well, RV be paddling around here for long, picking up lures out of trees, you know, <laughs> selling them on the side or anything like that and everything. But really, uh, 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 I hope everything looks good. You got, as you said, your website gives all the information, right? Yeah. If they need to contact you, and I'm going to put it on uh, on my website and I really like what you got here. R.V. Patterson, CEO and inventor. All right. Now, I bet there's not too many out there that has a double title like I'm that. I'm telling you. When, when you think it invented and things along that line. But it says on here, tired of losing your cork, hook, line, and sinker. All you need is a save a cork and hook retriever. All right. He's a poet, too, Charlie. Charlie, there you go. You better watch out. you got a poet here. R.V. Patterson, Irene Patterson, thank you for being on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Thank you for finding Intercom Radio. God bless you, and uh, we hope to talk to you down the road. And uh, 
when you drive by me in your new uh, Cadillac Escalade, wave at me sometime, okay? <laughs> okay? Larry, All right. Larry, thank you for having my wife and I on your show. I really appreciate it. And uh, give me a call, and then... Go we got it. That's a handshake, buddy, right there. All right, All let's right. take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Be right back on ESPN 790.